Hello, my name is Jack, and if you are a new dividend investor, this video is probably good for you because it shows what a realistic portfolio size can make you in dividend income. Uh, currently, my portfolio is about $560, so uh, it's a little more than the title says, but it's pretty similar. And I have about six um, stocks and two ETFs, sort of diversified. Uh, it'll become more diversified as I keep investing in it. I'm going to show you what positions I hold and how much I make from them in dividends monthly and how much I make yearly. So let's get started. So the first company in my portfolio is Apple. The dividend is pretty low at 0.52%. Uh, I have 0.317 shares, which is not a lot, but it's fine for this portfolio. And the annual income is about 28 cents, which isn't really a lot. This is by far the lowest uh, dividend percentage I get on any of my stocks, but it's in this portfolio, so I thought I would say it. They pay me quarterly, about seven cents a quarter. So not much, but that's just the first one. The second company in my portfolio is 3M. Uh, I have about 0.658 shares. The dividend yield is almost 4% at 3.9. And it's a really uh, good uh, company for dividends. 3.9%. Um, the dividend rate's good. It's been growing. I'm happy with it. I'm going to keep adding to it. Uh, currently, I think it's, it's down a bit. So I've been dollar cost averaging. So I'm happy with that. They also pay quarterly. Right now I'm receiving about 98 cents quarterly. That brings a total of about $4.18 for the year. My next company in my portfolio is Starbucks. Starbucks has been on a huge discount recently. I've been buying a bunch. I'm gonna keep buying more. And I have about 0.85 shares. Uh, the dividend yield is 2.12%, but the dividend has been growing steadily. The company is growing. And this is going to be a good long-term hold. Uh, I currently make $1.60 a year from this stock. Starbucks pays me quarterly, about $0.42 cents a quarter. That brings our total to about $5.78 annually. The next company is Realty Income, ticker symbol O. This is a real estate read. Uh, it's a monthly paying dividend. One of the most well-known monthly paying dividends. I have one share exactly. Um, I'm going to keep buying into this. It's a good long-term hold. They have great dividends at 4.17% and I'm making about $2.87 annually. But because I get paid monthly, I'm getting 24 cents a month. Uh, so this is a good one if you want to be paid every month. That brings our total to about $8.65 a year. My next uh, stock is Prospect Capital, PSEC. Uh, it's another real estate read and it is a monthly payer also i have three shares the dividend yield is 8.4 percent which is really high and uh, brings my dividend average up it's a good monthly payer um you always got to be careful with the high dividend yields but the reits are generally higher so that is okay i make about two dollars and six, 16 cents a year and i get paid about 18 cents a month that brings my total dividend income to about ten dollars and 81 cents for the year my last stock in my portfolio is at&t i have one share the dividend yield is 8.74 percent and it pays me about two dollars and eight cents annually at&t has been going down just for, for a very long time so I don't know how long I'm going to hold this. I just have it for the dividends right now. It's It might not be my portfolio for a while, but we will see in the months to come. It pays me quarterly about 52 cents a quarter. And that brings my total annual income from dividend stocks to $12.89. Okay, the first ETF in my portfolio is SPYD. I have about three shares and I have a, it's a 3.57% dividend rate which is very good. I make about $4.65% annually. This is one of the bigger holdings in my portfolio. That brings my total annual income to $17.54. And finally, my last ETF is SPHD, where I have two shares at a 3.33% dividend rate. 
make about $3.11 from this annually. It is a monthly payer and I get paid about 26 cents a month. And that brings my total $20.65 for the next 12 months. So if you have a $500 dividend account, you can expect to make about $20 a year if you don't add to it whatsoever. And that $20 will get reinvested every year, which may seem small, but if you keep investing in it monthly or weekly, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you'll see that it'll add up. You'll be making a very solid income from dividends. Maybe one day it could be helping you pay your bills or completely paying your bills. And that is the whole point of dividend investing is to have an income that you have to do absolutely nothing for. I'm going to keep investing in this dividend portfolio, hopefully years to come. Uh, I'm gonna try to invest weekly and hopefully build this account to where the dividend payments are actually just going to be paying for my bills when I'm in my like 30s or 40s. So if you are trying to build a dividend portfolio, you wanna watch my series. If it is after the first week of April in 2022, I probably already posted it and I'll have the playlist uh, on the top right of the video right now. Thanks for watching.